Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Morgan and I'm glad to have you here. So today I'll be taking you through my skincare routine. This is my morning skincare routine and here are some of my products. I'll start with a little headband that protects my hairline and then also some wristbands to protect me from the water and keep it from running down my wrists. Now we'll get into the actual products, how much they cost, the size of the products, how often I run through the products so that you know how often you'll have to buy them, and yeah. And I'm going to go in order of the way that I use the actual products. First I go in with the Psilocylic Acid Mask um, as a spot treatment now. I used to use this all over the face and <laughs> no lie, it, I hate saying this, it didn't burn my face but it, it gave me dry patches where I had to use a lot of squalene, um, like actual drops of squalene. So it was, it was interesting, but it cleared up and it was fine. Yeah, so now I only use these as a spot treatment. If I have any acne forming, I'll go ahead and use this. Now this mask lasts you forever, girl. So this mask is actually $13.30 for the 1.7 fluid ounce. So I have a backup of this mask because I was using it heavily. I was using it every Tuesday and Saturday, but then I started getting dry patches, so now I just use a spot treatment. I have here is the micellar water. That's just a micellar water from Garnier Actives. This is a nice product to have because it breaks up any dirt, anything that could cause my face to have clogged pores. I especially love this for taking off makeup. Sometimes I use two little cloths to take off my makeup and so for the Garnier micellar water it is on Target's website for $7.99 you can get it in stores you can get it on the website since I use it at morning and at night I have gone through about maybe one bottle a month they have different um, color bottles I prefer the blue bottle um, this one's the waterproof makeup one I don't know if there's really a huge difference between this and the pink one but I just I like this one so I get this one so next we have the squalene cleanser. I love to use the squalene cleanser when I have worn some makeup the day before or if I just feel like I have some dirt on my face from the gym so I'll use this to break all of that down. And then it's important to use cool water when rinsing my face. The squalene cleanser, I really don't go through it that often. I went through the smaller version of this. It took me about two months, so I bought the bigger version. The smaller version is, I think it's two ounces for $9 and some change. But yeah, so I bought the bigger one because it makes more, more sense. Next up we have the CeraVe Psilocylic Acid Cleanser. I like to use this as the third step in my routine. It makes sure that my face is nice and clean without giving it a stripped feeling and it also unclogs the pores. And you want to always make sure to clean with cool water again. So the CeraVe Psilocylic Acid Cleanser is $13.99 and you get 8 fluid ounces. I've been using this for about 2 months and it's to here. So I still have a pretty decent amount left. It's also important to use a clean paper towel each time you wash your face. And go ahead and pat that dry nice and gently. And throw the paper towel away when you're done. So next we have the niacinamide by the Inculus. So this niacinamide serum is actually really nice for um, tightening pores and allowing the face to just 
feel nice and fresh throughout the day. I love using it for closing my pores. I go through like one of these per month. This is the first one I bought from the Inculus, but the second niacinamide I've gone through. The first time I was using the Ordinary's niacinamide, and the only problem with that one is it would peel on my face, and I didn't like that. It would never rub in, so I went ahead and uh, tried the Inculus. And this one I got from Sephora, and it was $9.99, plus tax, of course. And be sure to get the 10% because they also offer a 20% that's $17.99 and that's not the one that I'm using. It's just a little bit too strong for me so I like to use the 10%. And then after that I use a vitamin C serum by Notorium and I really like this serum because it feels nice and lightweight on the face. It doesn't clog my pores or make me feel any kind of stinging or anything that I tend to get from some vitamin C serums so this one's nice. And this one's actually at Target for $19.99. It's never out of stock or anything like that. So yeah, I go through one of these per month as well. And it's a nice little air pump. So it's the best way to store the vitamin C. It's in a container that allows the liquid to be protected from any light, any sunlight or bathroom light. So um, yes, I really like that. And then the pump is nice. So for moisturizers, I use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors with Hyaluronic Acid. This is amazing. It's very fatty, very thick, it absorbs nicely into the skin and allows me to have a nice shiny glow without looking sticky and too dewy. It'll give me a dewy finish but not too dewy if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. I bought this one from Sephora for... $13.50. You can also get it at Ulta, so either one is fine. Yeah, whichever one you have access to, just get it from there. Lasts me about three months, which is really nice. Um, so yes. Last but not least, I use the Polish Choice to finish up everything. So it's the Polish Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's a little bit pricey. I get it from Sephora for $37 but it lasts. One bottle of it lasts about four months, so it's really nice. It says it can last up to 12 months on the packaging, so yeah, you won't be paying. You, you might buy this like twice a year, uh, maybe three times if you're heavy with it, but if you see how I use a few dots, you're fine. A little bit goes a long way with this one, but definitely check it out in my description box below. So every month you'll be buying the Garnier and the Inculist Niacinamide. Every three months, you will need to get the um, Youth Extending SPF, the uh, Ordinary Moisturizer, and the Squalene Cleanser. Every two months, you'll need to get the CeraVe Cleanser and the Vitamin C Serum. So hopefully that helps you gauge like your routine basically for all of these products you're looking at a little bit over a hundred dollars i'll put the total on the screen somewhere but yeah that's what you're looking at and it's not too bad it lasts you at least you know anywhere between two months to a half a year depending on how often you use your products let you know um, how I even came up with this routine. I've been going to the dermatologist, so if you want to hear more about that, stay tuned. Let's talk about the dermatologist appointment. I went to my dermatologist for the first time on February 8th, and it is now March 25th. I've had this routine for quite a while. It's been working really well for me. I've seen a big improvement on my skin. I wish I had some be before pictures, but I don't currently have any before pictures just regular pictures of myself that I uh, I took but I don't have any like up close and in in, in depth uh, before pictures I went to the dermatologist and um, she said everything looked fine I just needed to go ahead and add in some retinol because I am 28 years old so being that I'm over 25 it's good to go ahead and add in a retinol cream at nighttime when I'm not using any other actives that's an important thing 
But we'll get into my nighttime routine in another video coming soon. The morning routine, I don't really use anything that is going to irritate my skin. Or I definitely use a good SPF, so that's important. So originally I had a toner in my routine and she went ahead and took that out. She said toners are really unnecessary and they're just kind of gimmicky because it had some ingredients. Niacinamide and zinc toner from Sephora is the one that I was using, but that was already in my niacinamide serum, so I really didn't need it. So yeah, we took that out and uh, I went ahead and made an appointment for six weeks. I have that appointment coming up. I'm excited to see what she says. I'll go ahead and update you guys on that during my nighttime routine video because I'll have gone to the appointment by then. Thank you for watching and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. I typically post two to three videos per week. I'm trying to get a more consistent posting schedule, but I just started, so just bear with me. I'll definitely be posting though, so you want to hit that notification bell and you want to subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!